gonna mock me for my hair unless it's ten years old. So this one is the residential dish. Residential it's called dish. The standard actuated. Okay. Now, what's interesting between these two is this is the commercial grade high performance dish. Yes. This one weighs about 18 pounds, very strong metal frame, versus this one's only you know three to five pounds, a lot smaller in size. And the other thing that people miss between the residential and the commercial version is this only has a single antenna array. Whereas the commercial dish has a triple antenna array with a 140 degree field of view versus the 105 degree field of view in the residential standard dish. Now, why that matters is because when you're using Starlink, you want the best possible chance at getting a uh, coverage from any satellite, right? As the satellites continue to do, you know, go through LEO and low Earth orbit, you want to make sure you have the best possible chance to get a satellite at any time because that'll ensure that you get the best possible uptime as well as the best possible speed. So where possible and where budget allows, the commercial grade high performance dish is the way to go. Yeah, and I mean, you can, you can really tell when you see them mm -hmm. side by side. Yeah. You know, it's, right. uh, it, it's obvious what you're, yeah. what you're getting. And it's like, a lot smaller form factor. I'm sure a lot of people watching yeah. this would be familiar with drones and things like that. Mm -hmm. You want to be grabbing as many satellites as you can in the sky yeah. at one time. Exactly. And if you're dealing with Starlink today and you're having issues with things dropping out or right. or lower bandwidth, get on the commercial dish, get on the big one. There's a reason that they came out with it. Exactly. Um, the other interesting thing too I'll call out is Starlink recently has figured out that you don't need the actuated dish. And so the old, this is from two to three years ago. Yep. This dish has the standard actuated mount that will try to catch the satellites. And so some people think that the new dishes that are not actuated think that you'll have a lower performance. But what's interesting is Starlink, for some reason, has improved the quality of the dish such that it doesn't need to tilt. Yeah. And so here, what you have on this sample mount, sure, mounted here on the uh, to the Starlink dish frame here. This is all metal mount, set screws attaches here it's about a hundred dollar pipe mount here and then this is our standard ballast mount that we see so this is probably about 150 bucks here and as a standard you know pipe mount and ballast blocks you can use sandbags whatever you need uh, to make sure that this you know stays on the rooftop and doesn't go anywhere the other interesting thing about this is and landlords are big on this you don't want to have any roof penetration where possible yeah we like to avoid having any uh holes in the roofs and so what we'll do for any typical install is put the non-pen roof mount down, get the center block so we know it's not going to fly away in a storm, and then we'll run the cable to the side of the building and get a roof penetration from the side of the building such that we know that, you know, we're not going to run into uh, any water leakage or anything like that. So um, that's how you know you have a good install. Nice. Yeah, this thing is, I mean, and you can tell and you'll see this on, on camera, also people that are familiar with the camera, this is like a this is like a narrow lens. This is like a GoPro wide angle. It's gonna get a lot more than than this little dinky dish. You, you don't want this one. This is it right here. And, and also when we talk about fiber and other types of connectivity and things like that, this is weeks, not months. Or if you're here in Metro Detroit, mm -hmm. potentially quicker than that, get a hold of us. Absolutely. We'll take care of you. One other thing too I want to call out that's interesting, uh, a decision that Starlink made is in these proprietary connectors. This batch of 40 dishes now that we're part of the authorized solution provider program. What you can see here is if you take out this connector, there we go, it's a weird proprietary connector. Nothing that I've actually seen before. So you can see uh, Starlink and Elon Musk chose that they, they wanted a proprietary connector. It almost looks like a mini display port, but yes. it's not quite a display port. Exactly, or like close to a USB-C, but not quite. And so what's interesting is that this cable, and it's, it's I don't think we're gonna run into any weathering issues with it. I think it's gonna stay sturdy, but it's actually just an outdoor Cat 6 cable or Cat 5 cable. Um, the standard default on the high performance dish is an 80 foot cable. Um, but with proprietary connectors. So if you happen to run into a deal or an install where you need say 200 feet of cable, Starlink does make longer cables. Unfortunately, we can't make our own because they use proprietary connectors. You might find some people in, on YouTube that choose to 
uh, splice into these and make their own, but the only official way is to buy the longer Starlink cable. Um, and you can see here on this part, it's a proprietary connector you know, on that. And then the other side also uses a proprietary connector. It's not a standard ethernet, but it is PoE, so there's no, you know, no separate power cable, just one cable going into the Starlink dish, which is kind of nice. Nice, and it, it, it's super clean. You don't yeah. have to worry if you leave your building, you can bring it with you. Yep. There's satellites all over the world. That's true. So it is, you know, it gets, gets you everything you need.